Beep, beep, beep. Okay, so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to do a beer review. And don't make fun of me, True. Don't make fun of me. Some people like to watch it. <laughs> There's a handful of people in the world that like to watch it. <laughs> so I'm about to do, I'm going to do a beer review right here live on Justin TV for YouTube. It's Justin TV and YouTube, and they're together tonight. <laughs> All right. Hey, guys. Hey, how you doing? It's Jake here again from Jake and Dar. And check this out. Look at this. I got an awesome review for you tonight. It's called Bahumbug. It's a beer called the Bahumbug. Picked up my local beer store. Yes, I'm doing the live JTV thing right now. And, uh... Hanging out with some awesome people. This is from the Witchwood Brewery in the United Kingdom. And um, my eyes aren't the greatest. It's a little bit, the lighting is a bit low. So it says, uh, it says, it says brewed with the, ch with the choicest hops and malt, lightly spiced with cinnamon. This is a rich ale complemented with subtle tones of dried fruits, beer, with cinnamon. <laughs> the ingredients are malted barley, malted rye, malted oats, hops, water, yeast, cloves, and coriander. I think I got that right. Coriander? Thank you. <laughs> and that's it. All right on. It is, uh, they, they call this strong beer, but it says 5% ABV. That's not strong to me. The best before date is August 12th, 2014. Oh, maybe I'll save it till then. Why not? Now let's pour it up and have a go. Let's pour it up and have a go at it. Let's have a go at it, bloke. <laughs> okay. Here goes for the Bahumbug. I'm going to give it a pour here. You ready? Pour it up and see what she looks like, huh? Looks nice. Nice copper color. He's not much of a head on that guy. Where's the head? Did someone steal the head? Ah, oh, I got one finger. I got it up to one finger. I should have poured it a little more vigorously. Ooh. There. Get every last little drop. Get every last little drop. I'm not an alcoholic, though. But I need every last little drop. Thank you. Okay. No, I'm not an alky. Who's an alky? I'm not a friggin' alky. I only drink twice a week. Unless I'm on vacation. Here, have a look at that. Kind of gives you the idea of a nice... It's got sort of a nice copper color to it. Cup, like a bit of a reddish tone in there. Nice. What do you think of that beer? Looks nice, eh? All right. Let's give it a nose. <laughs> First thing that hits me is that bitterness from the hops. The floral, fruity bitterness. Yeah, it's actually whew, coming back to me now. Hold on. It's got the same smell as... Um, it's got the same smell as the, uh, the Abbey. The Abbey of Leff, actually. Like a fruity, sweet fragrance to it. Yeah, that's about it. Like a fruity, sweet fragrance to the smell. A little bit of hoppiness in there. A little bit of maltiness in the smell. Let's, let's, let's have a go at it and see how she tastes. Let's see how she tastes. Oh. Wow. That's not bad. Hold on now, hold on. I'm not done. Just relax now. Oh boy. Well. It's kind of like a... It reminds me of a good red ale. It's, it's very similar to like a red ale. I'll put those... Uh, hold on. Hold on guys, I'll put those tunes on in the background now. Come on, you want to hear some tunes in the background at least. I'm not... I don't want too much quietness here. 
some radio ahead in the background, I guess. Yeah, but it's very, it's actually, it, I don't know. It's nice. It's it's not real malty. It's got some good bitterness in the hops. There's a little bit of bitterness from the hops. Uh, not much on the aftertaste, and the carbonation is weak. Geez, I hope it did. Yeah, there, yeah I can see some bubbles, but uh, the carbonation is low. It's very low carbonation. It's a low carbonated beer. Not not real over carbonated. Kind of medium body, I think. I'd say medium body myself. It's not real bursting with flavors, though. It's not real heavy on the flavors. It's kind of light. It's lightly flavored, so it's not. It's not overly. It's it's difficult to actually pick out the flavors in this one. I don't know. Hold on. Let's give it one more go. One more chance or I'm fired. You know, it's really hard to pick up this cinnamon and the, the coriander. It's, it's actually really mild. The cinnamon and the coriander they're talking about, it's very faint. You can barely, barely taste it, so... Um, all I'm really getting is, uh, I'm getting just some hop bitterness, slight malty, slight malt flavor, hop bitterness, low carbonation, and it's just basically, I guess in a nutshell, it just tastes like a pretty decent red ale. Like if you guys ever had a decent red ale before, I mean, that's about all it really is. Like, I guess a close comparison would be the, uh, would be... It'd be closely compared to uh, like uh, the Picaroons Irish Red, the Picaroons Irish Red. Or this one here, this is the Gayen Brewery. It's from the Gayen Brewery. This is also a uh, red ale. Uh, pretty close comparison to them, very close. Yeah, so. It's a decent beer. It's not very strong, not to my consideration. 5% uh, ABV is not very strong to me, but... Anyways, yeah. Good beer. Um, it doesn't really stand out for me. It doesn't kick me off my feet or anything. It doesn't knock me out. Um, I think I'm going to give this personally, in my personal own opinion, I think I'm going to put this at about a 3, a three out of 5. I'll give it a 3 out of 5. It's it's good. It's probably worth a try, but I was actually expecting Bahambug, you know, like it has a really nice, it says Christmas cheer on it, on the label, and I was kind of expecting it to be uh, a little bit better than that, but uh, it's it's decent. It's decent to say the least. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Well, there you go. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you guys stopping by. I appreciate you clicking on the video and uh, cheers. You guys keep your mugs full and I'll uh, I'll see you later. Back to my live JTV broadcast. Maybe maybe someday I'll see some orgas on this uh, beautiful night. You guys take care. See you later.